What's going on YouTube, it's Brent 31 appreciate you guys tuning in. In this video, we're going to be testing the effectiveness of con camo, which is short for confusion camouflage, in the North Texas woods during the late winter time. So the prominent colors right now are tan, brown, with a little bit of light green from the fresh vegetation that's growing in. We'll also be doing a part two in the spring and summertime when the prominent colors will be green. Now this has probably been one of the most heavily requested patterns on my channel for the last couple years now. My understanding of the camouflage pattern is it was designed by a former German Special Forces operator. And uh, I just want to say a special thanks to a company called UF Pro for uh, sending me these combat shirt, trousers, and boonie to be able to bring you guys this camouflage effectiveness video. So big thanks to them and I'm going to give you guys an up close personal look at this uniform so that you guys can check it out. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a comment. All right, guys, so before we get to the actual camouflage fegness portion of this video, I wanted to give you guys an up-close look at the actual uniform provided by UF Pro. On the right, we got the uh, Striker XT Generation 2 Combat Shirt. On the left, we got the Striker HT Combat Pants. And up top, we got the Generation 2 Boonie Hat of theirs. All right, starting off with the Combat Shirt. So the uh, top is the standard zipper closure. As you can see, it has a little bit overlap material here so that it protects your neck from the uh, zipper itself. It just zips down. Inside on the shoulders, you have some padding with some mesh material. So that definitely uh, it'll help, you know, if you got load bearing equipment on, uh, put some padding in between your uh, shoulder and your actual uh, suspenders. All right, guys, so moving down, if you don't already know, combat shirts are designed to be worn in conjunction with body armor. So the torso area of this shirt is made of a moisture wicking material, which helps absorb the sweat and keep your uh, body cooler. The armpit areas, as you can see, are made of a mesh lining, so it helps bring in air, again, to keep you cooler while you're wearing body armor. The sleeves on the combat shirt are symmetrical in that you have the same type of pockets on each side. Uh, as you can see, you got a shoulder pocket here. It's pretty large and roomy. has a side opening zipper. I'll stick my whole hand in there. But uh, on the outside, you have a Velcro piece for a patch. On the back side, you have another zipper, but this is actually not an opening for the pocket. You zip this down and it actually has some mesh so you can get some more airflow into your arms. On the uh, elbow, you have a compartment here for elbow pads. So a little Velcro lining. Open that up and you can stick an elbow pad in there. On the wrist, you have another wrist pocket. And inside this wrist pocket's a uh, elastic piece to help retain whatever you're putting in there. And then you have these like molly webbing type, type stuff to you know put those like leader notebook uh, pouches or you know stick some chem lights or something in there. The cuff is Velcro to adjust to whatever your wrist size is. All right guys, so here's the top of the combat pants. Now these have a lot of features that I really like. Uh, one in particular is it has built-in belt keepers. So underneath here, you'll see these open up. Here's the regular loops for your regular belt. So if you're wearing a pistol belt, your regular trouser belt goes through and then your pistol belt goes over top of that and then you secure these around your pistol belt. And that way, you're, when you're moving around, your pistol belt won't slide around and readjust on you while you're running and gunning. Um, they close up top here. Here's a button. Then you also have this uh, hook fastener. All right. And then it's a zipper closure for the fly. Here you have zippers. You open these up and you have uh, that mesh material to get some airflow down there in your groin. Here you got uh, front pockets. Inside the uh, pockets is also another mesh area. So again, these are really designed to help increase airflow, guys. Here's the back side of the trousers, and uh, this material is a little bit different. It's a tough, stretchy material. So if you're a little bit gifted in the rear end like I am, uh, you definitely plenty of room for uh, adjustment. You got two ass pockets here, and uh, these are zipper closures, and uh, they are bellowed so that they do expand to put stuff in. And again, you have your uh, built-in keepers along with your regular belt loops so these keepers go all the way around and uh, will definitely help keep a pistol belt in place the thigh area of the pants you have a large cargo pocket here zippered opening on both the top and on the side so you can gain access to the uh, cargo pocket both ways inside the cargo pocket are separate little uh, compartments uh, to help you know retain stuff and keep stuff organized inside those cargo pockets you also have Another smaller pocket here for you know a small item. Looks like a pen pocket on that uh, that side right there. Here's another uh, little small compartment that you can probably keep a uh, handheld flashlight in. 
And then again, these pockets are symmetrical, so the exact same type of pocket is on the opposite side. Moving down, you have, uh, again, you have that loose, or excuse me, that uh, tough stretchy material that uh, helps adjust with your knees. There's some vents for airflow. And then here you have a standard uh, knee pad. It's got some padding in it. It's, it's a light padding, but it's still padded. And then if you want to add knee pads to it, you definitely can uh, do so. I saw an option on their website for uh, getting additional knee pads to place in there for uh, you know a little bit more uh, tougher knee pad. But again, it is padded, so there is definitely a, uh, a padded area on the knees, uh, but definitely has a room for an additional knee pad if you so choose. Moving towards the bottom is a leg pocket with a zippered opening at the top. Pretty large uh, ankle pocket. Bottom of the trousers have a zippered opening and you can adjust these as tight as you need for around your boot. Looks like it uh, can secure. That's pretty nifty. Nice. So no need for uh, boot bands or anything like that. You can uh, tighten those up around your boots utilizing that feature. Pretty neat feature. And then it, again, it comes with this uh, Velcro to help police that up so you don't have any excess. All right guys, last thing I need to show you is this boonie. And I can say with 100% certainty that this is probably one of the most high speed boonies I've ever seen. So starting off, it's got a, like a brim that you can adjust kind of like a baseball cap. Um, you have on the top and on the sides Velcro to insert IR tabs. You also have mesh material on the top as well as in the back to increase airflow. As you can see inside this boonie, it's designed to maximize airflow to keep your head cool, which will they definitely pay dividends in the summertime when it's really hot. You also have uh, this band, these two sets of bands that go all the way around for inserting foliage, and then the strap to go around your neck it can be adjusted in the back here. It has this uh, cord lock here, you just pull that, and then that tightens, and that will, uh, tighten the boonie around the top of your head as well as tighten the uh, strap. So that's it guys, let's uh, check out the effectiveness of con camo in this environment.
Well, that's it, guys. It completes part one of this con camo camouflage fagness video. If you're liking what you're seeing, don't forget to check out my channel and subscribe. I've already done several camouflage fagness videos, and I'm planning on doing several more in the future. Once again, thanks to uh, UF Pro for sending out this uniform to me. I'll have the links to this uniform in the information box. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave a comment.